everyone, it's Jackie. I'm here today with this Halloween makeup tutorial and it is Betty Boop. If you couldn't tell, didn't. this is what I came up with. I hope you guys like it and if you want to find out how to become Betty Boop for Halloween, stay tuned and I'll show you how it's done. First thing we're going to do is take a foundation to cover our face. And this color is, um, it's the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse. Next, I'm going to take my Lee's Wadier Concealer Wheel. God, I always have the hardest time opening this. So now we're going to conceal. Sorry about that. We're also going to conceal our eyebrows, so... We look so ugly right now, don't we? I'm gonna go to school like this, I think. Hey! So I have this, uh, it's from Physician's Formula, and it's the Mineral Sneeze Wear Translucent Matte Finishing Veil. Looks like that, and then it kind of just, you, when you, like, rub it, the powder comes out from there, I don't know. So, just put that on, don't breathe. This brush is so rough. I do not recommend this at all. I look like a cartoon now. So that's it for covering the face and looking all freaky like a ghost. Okay, and now for the eyes, I'm going to prime my lids with um, Urban Decay's eyeshadow primer. Sorry. So once you have that done, we're going to take, um, this is the Good Girl Quad from Ulta. I can't open anything, can I? But it looks like that. This as our highlight. This light color as the all over lid color and this brown right here and um, we're going to just dab a little in the crease to give a little definition and we're not even going to touch this dark color because it's just not for this look. So we're going to use this and I'm first going to start off with this light color, light brown color right there. Take the opposite side of the brush that you just used and grab the highlight color right there and go ahead and highlight. I'm going to use this brush right here. It's from Estee Lauder. I don't know what kind of brush this is, but um, it's very tiny and tapered. I don't know. But I'm going to use this little brush and grab the this brown right here, some medium kind of brown, not too dark, not too light. Grab a little of that and lightly place that above the crease, kind of like on the, you know, the bone, the actual bone, not the, the crease, the actual bone. And now we're going to take our blending brush. Just blend it a lot. That's the eyeshadow for this look. And now I'm going to take this um, black eyeliner pencil from Estee Lauder. And we're going to tight line. And now I'm going to take this white eyeliner pencil from NYC. These are like 99 cents. But um, I'm going to line the waterline. And that is going to make our eyes look more, uh, a lot bigger and cartoony. I am going to take the L'Oreal Carbon Black Liner in Tin. And we are going to wing it out, but I want to show you a little special trick so you can get it that perfect winged eye. So take an angled brush like this one. Just take a black, or you can take a brown. Nah, take a brown. It doesn't matter because we're gonna cover it up anyways. Using, but say you were gonna, you know, apply this right here. Well, you're not. You're going to keep going up and follow. So this wing is supposed to come and meet with, you know, your lower rim, and that's where your wing is going to go. So, and then we're just going to fill that in with the eyeliner. So take your carbon black again. 
And there you go. That's our eyeliner. This just takes a little practice. Um, I'm not the best with eyeliner. I'm sure you can find, you know, tons of tutorials on how to teach you how to do, you know, eyeliner. I suck at eyeliner, so it kind of took me a while, so, but we got it. So, now I'm just going to curl and put mascara on and be right back. And now for lashes, we're going to use the Love and Beauty ones. These are from Forever 21, and I love these, and I think they're so perfect for Betty Boop. And we're going to take our eyeliner and cover up the glue on top. See? No more glue. Going to take our mascara and kind of just, you're going to just go like this with your lashes. And that's going to make them look like really long and spiky. Kind of like Betty Boop's. Okay, and so for the eyebrows, I am using Too Faced Brow Envy. I'm going to use the little angled brush and the dark. And we're not going to fill in the eyebrows. We are going to draw a line. Let me put the mirror right here. Draw a line. And then, just like Betty Boop. Try to keep the line really thin, but just like keep going over it to intensify it a little. See, it looks, looks like I have little tiny eyebrows. It's from Physician's Formula again, and this is the Mineral Wear Nude Glow. Looks like this. Pick some up. And I'm going to kind of use this and contour a little with I'm going to apply highlight, and I'm using uh, Benefits, Benefits High Beam, and I'm kind of using a heavy amount for this. So I'm putting it right there on the cheeks, kind of bringing it down, because she has some big old round cheeks. I'm going to apply some right here, because she has a wide jaw, so we kind of want this part to stick out. Basically, all the places that you normally don't put a highlight, you're going to put a highlight. So you look like this, like a tribal warrior. And we're going to dab away. She has a little tiny nose, so let's try to contour a little bit of that with Max Matte Bronze. Use this fan brush. Try to get it on there as best as you can. Let's quickly do the lips and we'll be ready to go. Apply my finishing powder, my mineralized skin finish on my lips. And this just takes away the moisture and kind of locks in the color a lot better. So, And then I'm going to take um, Cherry from MAC, a lip liner pencil. We're going to line our lips. Okay, so once we have that done with our lips, I'm going to take this red lipstick from Ulta, and it's called Moroccan Red. It's a deep red like this. So this is our complete look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and don't forget to click the link. Uh, I'll just put it down there. There will be a link down in the down bar for the hair tutorial and the makeup tutorial because I'm going to use this clip for both so I don't know which one you're watching right now maybe you just watched the hair tutorial so if you just finished watching the hair tutorial click on the link down below to find out how to do the face and if you just watched the face click the link down below to find out how to do the hair so I hope you guys enjoyed this and my little Betty Boop dance and I don't know if she danced. I've never really watched Betty Boop. I only saw like the Betty Boop toys and stuff, like uh, figurines and stuff. I've never really watched like her cartoon or anything like that. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Have a magical day.